Hey guys, Terry here with the Forest Farm Project. Kubota recommends that every 50 hours you check the torque on the lug bolts and nuts on your Kubota B2650. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, on the rear there are bolts and nuts. The bolts need to be torqued at uh, 145 to 166. We set our torque wrench on 160. I'm not going to show you that because there's a lot of different ways to set them, so just make sure that you set yours properly. 160 is what we're going for. That ought to do. Okay guys, the rear nuts and bolts are 22 millimeter. We went ahead and bought a deep well socket because we know we're going to need them on the farm on equipment from time to time. And this wheel's so deep, we went ahead and bought a 10 inch extension and that makes it where you can get in here and do your torquing and not uh, get your hands all up in here or you know, you have to reach out. That's, I'd say you could probably get by with a uh, 8 inch or so, 10 inch makes it a lot better and that's with a deep well socket. You want to torque these, you've got two nuts and you've got four bolts, two there and two there. So you want to torque these kind of in a star pattern just like you would on a car or any other uh, wheel that you'd be torquing. So we're going to torque this. That click tells me it's good. It did not move so it had not gotten loose. That one's tight. Come down here. There. And let's check the other side while we're at it before we swap settings. The nuts require a different setting, so we'll go ahead and get all the bolts first. Stand up, it's a little easier. You want to support your wrench with your one hand and then get this thing and you can put your weight on it. It makes it easier than just trying to force it down. And that's tight. When you hear that click, it's tight and tight. Okay, we've checked all four lug bolts on both rear wheels, so now we're going to check the lug nuts. And the lug nuts are from 123 to 141. Again, put it on there and pop, it's tight. And it's tight. Let's check the other side. The front wheels have all lug nuts. There's no lug bolts. They're 17 millimeter. Check your torque. It's between 57 and 67 pounds on the front. Okay, same as before. Make sure you do that star pattern. And good, as we suspected. So guys, for the cost of a torque wrench, extension, couple sockets, you know, it's 100 bucks or a little better. You can do your own maintenance as far as wheels go, torquing them down, and that's going to save you some money as opposed to taking it to the dealer. Just make sure you follow the rules in your manual and uh, uh, the proper torque settings. Each tractor's got its own settings, so you got to make sure you're torquing the right one to the right setting. And that's up to you. You have to make sure you're doing it right. So if you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up, share us with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and happy torquing.